I have a set of backlog here that's sitting in release 1.0. I've taken a first pass through this backlog and assigned a priority value to each of the items. You can see a mix of priority values throughout my list. I now want to organize my backlog better and rank these according to that priority setting, with highs being at the top of the list, followed by mediums, and lows at the bottom. So the first thing I'll do is set a filter to just look at my high priority items first. Now with this subset of my uh, backlog in hand here, I can use my multi-select, select all these items, and then I'm going to rank these items up at the very top of my selected project, which in this case is release 1.0. Now when I get rid of my priority filter, I see the full backlog and all of my high priority items are sitting at the top of the list. As I look down, I see my mediums next along with some lows. So the next thing I want to do is organize it so that all the mediums are right below the high items in my list. So I'll do that same thing and select my medium priority items. Again, use the multi-select. This time, instead of ranking them at the top of the project, I'm just going to rank them at the top of this list, which will just collapse all the medium items up along with the very top one that's in this list. So as I do that, I now see that when I get rid of my filter, all my highs are at the top and my mediums are directly below that. So if I have more priority values, I can keep going through this uh, exercise and just organizing it this way. So now I can use my drag and drop to fine tune the rankings of these items. So maybe I'm going to take the estimate into account or a risk value or something else. So I can move the items around individually now within this smaller subset. There you go. I've taken a completely unorganized backlog and organized it this quickly uh, according to priority and ultimately by the rank.